This is Into Math 3rd Grade, Lesson 19.2. Describe angles and shapes. I can identify angles that are right angles, greater than a right angle, or less than a right angle in shapes. Please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 496. We will begin under Build Understanding. Sanjay makes a coloring book with different shapes to color. One of the shapes is shown below. How can you describe the angles of this shape? We are going to start with the connect to vocabulary section. A right angle is an angle that forms a square corner. So you'll see here that there is an example of a right angle. And when we have a, a polygon shape, um, like the one Sanjay has drawn, um, they are going to use um, a little square, like in this example, the blue square marks a right angle. So we know that a right angle is an angle that forms a square corner. It's exactly a square corner inside the polygon. That's what a right angle is called. And there's a really cool way for you to check to see if there are any right angles in a shape. And so we're gonna look at part A and find out how we do that. It tells us to use a square corner from a sheet of paper like this one to check the angles in Sanjay's shape. So uh, this little thing right here is a piece of paper. And when you can line up the piece of paper, the corner of the piece of paper, right at that angle, then you know, oh, that's a right angle. So go ahead and pause the video and take a piece of paper and explore each angle of the polygon and see if it lines up to make a right angle and then come back. Let's take a look at part B. Circle the right angles or square corners in Sanjay's shape. So you can pause and try this on your own or you can follow along with me. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to circle this right angle because that was the angle where I could line up a square corner from a sheet of paper and it fit perfectly. So I know that that's a right angle. Part C asks us to draw an X on the vertex of the angles that are not right angles. How do you know that these are not right angles? Let's go ahead and draw the X's on the vertex of the angles that are not right angles. So we know this is not a right angle, this is not a right angle, and this is not a right angle because we already tried with the corner of a piece of paper and we found that those were not right angles. They did not match up. So we can answer, they are not the same shape as the square corner. Now we're ready to answer part D. The closed shape has blank sides and blank angles. Well, we can count the number of sides, one, two, three, four. There are four sides, and we know that there are four angles because we have either made a circle or an X on the angles that we found. It has one blank and blank angles that are not right angles. So we know that we found there was actually one right angle. And then how many angles were not right angles? That's right. If we're looking at the blue X's, we know that there were three angles that were not right angles. Turn to the next page, page 497. We will start with part two. The blue angles are right angles. The red angle is greater than a right angle, which means it's bigger than the right angle. And the yellow angle is less than a right angle. It is smaller than a right angle. Use a corner square to compare the angles in the shapes to a right angle. So we're going to get a, another piece of paper like we did, and we're going to compare the angles in the shapes to the right angle. And I think what we're looking for, because they've explained to us what is bigger and smaller than a right angle, we're looking for what each, we're gonna be looking, is this smaller, bigger, or is it exactly a right angle when we're looking at all the angles of these polygons? 
So part A asks to draw a small square to show each right angle. So you need to pause this video, take a look at all the angles, and if you see any right angles, go ahead and draw in a square on that angle. So when I take a look at uh, these angles in the first polygon, I do not find any that are right angles. But when I take a look at the next shape, this next polygon, I find that there is a right angle here and a right angle here. So those are my two right angles that I found in these two shapes. Okay, let's take a look at the next direction in part B. Draw a circle around the vertex of each angle that is greater than a right angle. And then it also asks us to shade the vertex of each angle that is less than the right angle. Okay, so let's do the part one. Let's circle any of the vertexes in the angles that is bigger than a right angle. So when we put the paper um, up to the angle, we see that there's still more space um, for us. So when we see that, we're going to circle that. So right here is a greater than, right here is a greater than, and right here it is greater than the right angle, and right here it's greater than a right angle. Okay, so that leaves a few more angles for us to look at. And so if it's not a right angle and it's not greater than a right angle, then we are going to shade in that vertex of each angle to show that it's less than a right angle. So right here, this part was less than a right angle. And this part right here, this angle was also less than a right angle. So I'm gonna shade that in. And then at the top here, this was also an angle that was less than a right angle. So now I have either circled or shaded in the angles that were greater than or less than a right angle. The last direction asks us to draw a shape that has exactly three right angles in the workspace above. So you may want to pause and try this on your own or you're welcome to follow along with me. Um, I am going to uh, draw a shape that I know has uh, three right angles. I'm gonna start with just a line segment here and a line segment here. And so I know right away that this corner um, right here is going to be a right angle. And then I'm going to continue to draw a line segment up like this. So I know, okay, this is another right angle. And then I'm going to continue uh, the line segment that was up top here. And I'm just gonna draw so I have another right angle. So that's three. So now I'm just going to take these two and connect them together. And I know that that does not make a right angle. So once I have uh, drawn those, or drawn my polygon, I'm gonna go ahead and show where my right angles are by making these little squares inside. So this shows I have exactly three right angles. You are welcome to go back and rewatch this video and pause along the way anytime as needed.